we're about to crawl through a small, tight, muddy tube for approximately half an hour to see something quite amazing. At least I hope that we'll get there today. And when we do, we have to turn back and go exactly the same way. So we're about to do approximately an hour of crawling. Let's go. And in we go. <laughs> so, these are pretty much the conditions that we'll be in for the next uh, half an hour at least before we can stand up again. How are you feeling, Leo? Um, I don't like having the bag on my back. You can take the bag off. Oh. It would be better for you to take the bag off, I promise you. Okay. We'll drag it along. You don't have any room to take it off. I promise that this is consensual and my boyfriend does want to be here. Am I your boyfriend? <laughs> I don't know, do you want to be my boyfriend? That's your decision. <laughs> you ready? Okay. My view for the next half hour. Uh, and it's a nice view, thank you very much. <laughs> this tunnel is always longer than I think it is. But, I promise you Leo, it gets slippery uh, in a bit, which means there's just more mud that we can play with and slip and slide along. So it'll get a bit easier. It was the second caving trip I ever actually went on. And you're crazy. And I'm crazy. Maybe he's right. You decided you liked it, or you liked it enough that you carried on after this. I actually fainted on that trip. Oh. In here. But that's what you find. You find the worst place that you could possibly be, and then suddenly everything else isn't that bad. I mean, I had raging anxiety at the time, and I couldn't go out on the street. But after I fainted in a cave, I could walk on the street again. And that's how I knew that cave was right for me, because it made everything else seem less bad. But you also get other things, like it's pretty. <laughs> Sometimes. Now we've got to go on our bellies for a little bit. So Leo will be happy because we're not on our knees anymore. Yeah. Reminds me of the first time I did this squeeze. Um, I couldn't really see in front of me because there was a light. The guy that was like helping me on, yeah. his, light, his light was really big. Oh, that is a good squeeze, isn't it? It's only as tight as your chest. Mm. Or as tight as my hips. <laughs> and this is the reason why I hate helmets, because I don't know where I'm going. Out. You'll be fine in any direction, really. Just forward. Cool. <laughs> you did it. Uh, come to a crossing where we can go straight ahead or turn right and I think we're gonna go straight ahead this time going right will take us to Moss Chamber there's a whole other video on that one on this channel to the right up there or forward I mean, I can't see the hole you're going through. I just see you. Really? Yeah. Is it that small? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty small, this one. 
Okay, that's the worst bit, I promise you. Hang on. Mm? My, my torch is falling off again. <sighs> See, we can't even turn around at this point. Oh, I shouldn't say that, it'll make you anxious. Oh, it makes me anxious. I, I already was aware of that. Okay. Not feeling too good. I'm feeling a bit anxious. I think that's because Leo's making a lot of noise. Noises that don't sound good. I'm hoping he's all right. But it's too small. I literally can't look at him. Like it's such a small tunnel, I can't go back. I have to keep going forward. So. Are you okay? Yeah. Please slow down. Just relax for a second. It's okay. I know, I know it's muddy, but it's been an hour and a half of this trip so far. We came in at 12, right? You know, Taylor Swift's new album is actually really good. Huh? Um, Taylor Swift's new album is really good. It's really calming. I've got it in my head right now. It's just like calming me down. Uh, okay. I just thought I'd let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well done. Uh. You did it. Hey. We've got strawberry races. I've got some something else, I can't remember. Oh, pencils as well. You want a pencil? Yeah, it's pencils. You want a strawberry pencil? Yeah. I knew you would. That's why I got them for you. It's mud here. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> nice. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything dumb. No. I said I won't do anything dumb. So you can avoid. I think you can avoid the rope. Yeah. By using a side bit. But I'm a bit nervous about it. But I am nervous all the time. So. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. It looks easy to do. I just want to be home. That's okay. We made it this far. This was my goal anyway, to get into this room. And we saw a big boulder. And we saw a nice sump. You are strong. I know you don't think you are, but you did so well. Do you think you'll be able to get back? Yeah. Don't think about it. <laughs> be a little light on. Two. Uh, hello. So that didn't turn out the way like I really wanted it to. I think we did really well, but I just didn't feel like going up that final climb and. I don't know, it could be a mixture of a few things, like just not feel, being alone up there and not feeling, you know, if you make one mistake when you're climbing, especially in this area, there are lots of boulders to smack down on and there's 
a cold water sump at the end. So after about an hour of crawling, no one's going to help you within a couple of hours. So I just, with nobody up there, I just didn't want to do it. It's better to know when to call it quits than to stay committed and accidentally kill yourself. And without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Don't remember, don't forget, sorry, you, you would not remember if you wish, but don't forget to like and subscribe. The passion is gone. <laughs> oh. It's a long day.